Hey guys, so I've had some requests for the top water knot that I was using in my latest top water video, and so I'm going to answer that question for you. Um, it's the Duncan Loop knot, uh, and I'm going to show you how to tie it. Uh, this is actually the bait I was using in the video. Um, pretty basic walking bait. It's an Excalibur Jimmy, and first thing you notice here at the front is it does not have a split ring. Uh, you know, there's split rings here with the hooks, obviously, but it does not have one up front. Most good quality top waters do not. Uh, the reason behind that is because it adds weight up there, and it's going to alter the action of the top water. So you can put a split ring up there, but it's not going to. It's going to just a little bit of weight, little tweak in the weight can can make a big difference. Um, so what you want to do uh, is tie a loop knot and. What I'm going to show you is called a Duncan loop knot. There's a million of them out there, loop knots. Um, honestly, the Duncan loop knot is when I was first looking for a topwater knot, uh, that was something easy that I could tie in a, in a tournament situation that would work for me. I, I've been using this Duncan loop knot for a long time, uh, and it's always worked for me. It works really well if you do it right. Um, so anyway, the purpose of the loop knot is to give your bait more action up front. If you have, a, say, a palomar or something cinched all the way down, it's not going to allow your bait to work side to side as well. Um, and, and every little subtle action that you, you can put on this hot water bait is going to help you catch more fish. So, first of all, the line. You want to make sure you're using monofilament or braid, something that floats. Um, this is the line I use right here. This is LFTs, Parallelium. Uh, Power Silk. Uh, it's a really good monofilament line. Um, I'll put the link down below so you can see um, where to get this line at. Um, but it, it's a little bit different than other monofilaments because it has a low stretch. It has 11% uh, stretch um, and, and it lasts a pretty good long time. Um, but that low stretch is really good uh, when, you're, when you're trying to get more hookups. So uh, low stretch monofilament. I really like this one. I usually use 15 pound Sometimes I'll go down to 12. Uh, if I'm really fishing heavy, heavy uh, cover, I'll go up to 20. But uh, the reason I like this Duncan Loop knot really well with um, the higher size lines, like the 15 up to 20, is because it's not a bulky knot. Um, so the less bulk you have up there, uh, the more real it looks. And um, so it's a really clean, um, compact looking knot. So let's get down to tying it. First of all, I'm going to strip off some line. I'm not using a rod. I'm just taking it straight off the spool. What you want to do here, come through the eye, obviously. We're going to make a loop. So we're right here. I'm going to get some good slack in the line, get some good, um, good distance here not distance, length, sorry. Okay, so now I've got this pinched off right here. I'm going to bring this end around here, both of these lines, and what I've done here is I've created this loop right here. I'm gonna bring this tag end through this loop eight times. Eight times is key. If you do any less, it could slip on you. I think that was a okay then you get this situation right here that you're going to start tightening down it's real important when you're tying any kind of knot that cinches down on itself like this that you don't overlap um, the loops you want it to be flat it's going to give you the most strength so you end up with kind of something like that when I get to about right there I'll wet it and I'll start to cinch it down and I'll go all the way down, I'll just pull it all the way down to the eye right there and when I cinch this side when I pull this tag into the line, you're not going to pull the main line, you pull the tag in this side right here 
it's going to create a distance and a loop right there. You don't want too much. That's probably a little bit too much, so I'll cinch it down a little bit more. All the way there. And then I'll pull on it really hard. If I have some pliers, I normally use pliers. I don't in this case, so I'll use my teeth. Okay, now I got it cinched down. You want to cinch it down pretty tight. And then cut your tag in there just a little bit. And then you end up with a perfect Duncan loop knot. You don't want to have that, that loop too long because your hook can actually come up here and it'll hook around it. Uh, but I found that probably a quarter inch is the best length and as you can see it's really flat and it's a really strong knot. You can pull on it really hard, you know, about as hard as you want to pull on it and uh, as long as you do the eight loops and tighten it up really good it's not going to really cinch down on it. If you hook like a stump or something and really pull on it hard it, it might cinch down but um, that right there is it guys. Duncan loop knot. I've used it for probably well all of my pro career for three years and through my college career and I've never had a problem with it breaking so uh, really good knot it's it's an easy knot when you're in a tournament situation you want to tie a knot really fast it's a good one so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something uh, rate comment and subscribe and um, if you have any more questions let me know leave them in the comment section below all right see you later guys yeah baby